So what's up guys? Uh, welcome back to my boy Gadam's Link. How are you guys doing? Good morning, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. I have something to share with you guys. And please try as much as possible to leave this uh, leave comment as you watch. And also invite your loved ones, your friends, your enemy, anyone. So check out this guy's story. This guy I want to advise. He said, I have been having sex with my neighbor's pregnant wife. Ever since she got pregnant, she told me that her husband stopped touching her because of the pregnancy. Her sexual urge has increased since after four months of pregnancy and she can't control it anymore. <laughs> According to her, she feels like having entanglement almost every day since she got pregnant. I have been knocking her for the past three months and, and I don't know if I am committing sin or I'm helping her. Her husband is doing nine to five while I'm working from home. I want to stop before he casts. I'm feeling guilty. He said he want to stop before he cast. He is feeling guilty. He has been sleeping with his neighbor pregnant wife for the past three months. Because the pregnant wife said her husband is not servicing her again ever since she got pregnant. And she has needs. And not just only does, this guy is asking. This guy thinks he's assisting, he's doing the woman a favor by sleeping with somebody's wife. <laughs> Please hear this story. If you are staying in an apartment that other neighbors are also staying in other apartment, you gotta stay in a compound, and you know your wife is pregnant. And she's above uh, six months. Hmm? You know your wife is pregnant, and she's above six months. And you have you have neighbors, young guys around you. This matter might be you, so make sure you go back home and check if the matter is not you. Ask your wife. I had so, 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 so story. Are you sure you are not the one? <laughs> so, guys, advi advise this guy. What? Do you want the guy to do? Because the guy is feeling guilty at the same time. The guy feel he has some sense of responsibility to the pregnant woman. Can you imagine having sense of responsibility to somebody's wife? <laughs> well, the reason why you haven't stopped is because God wants that man to catch you. And maybe that might be the end of you where they catch you. So that is why God don't want you to stop. You don't commit where well. There are some sins that uh, you have committed there uh, that God wouldn't want you to stop because God even want me to catch you for that sin. So maybe God is finding a way so that they can catch you and deal severely, severely with you. That being said, let's talk about an issue in Delta State. <laughs> According to the news, they said youth killed Nigerian Army commander, two major captain, 12 soldiers in Delta State. 12 soldiers in Delta State plus a commander 13, two majors, that is uh, 15, a captain, that is one, 16. So you guys in a, a community in Delta State by 16 army officers. <laughs> I said the chief of defense staff, uh, General Christopher Gabim Musa has ordered the immediate investigation and arrest of those involved in the killing of a commanding officer, two majors, one captain, and 12 soldiers of 118 Bomadi local government area of Delta State. Gaswa, Director of Information at the Defense Headquarters says 16 Nigerian soldiers on a peace mission were surrounded by youth and killed on Thursday in Okuma, Bomadi local government of Delta State. The troops of 181 Battalion 
while on a peace mission to Okoma community in Bomadi, local government of Delta State were surrounded by some community youth and killed on Thursday, 14 March, 2004. The fortunate incident occurred when the troops responded to a distress call after the communal crisis between Okoma and Okoloba community, both in Delta State. The reinforcement team led by the commander com commanding office was also attacked, leading to the death of the commanding officer, two majors, one captain, and 12 soldiers. And now they have ordered a thorough investigation and arrest of those people involved. Please, eh? See, <laughs> you people kill 16 soldiers. That two community, eh, they will floor you now. My advice to the innocent people over there, if you know get hand for that matter, run no. <laughs> yeah. If you don't have hands, I pray they catch those people who actually did it. But if you are innocent or oh, hearing this news, please don't pass through that community because hey, body go tell you now. When soldiers reinforce call with thousands, hundreds of soldiers storm that community, body go tell you now. So no use your hair, go carry waiting on your own. Please, if you are not from that community and you want to travel from that community to another place, do not travel. Stay put or pass another route. And if you are innocent, move away from that community. I repeat, move, run, move, run away from that community. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your body will tell you now. Run. <laughs> Check out the advice uh, online so far concerning this whole issue. Some well wishers, some well wishers in Nigeria said, someone said, make the just relocate to another community because waiting their eyes will see eh? Then another person said, I think something like this happening within that has its ODI to be precise many years ago. The alpha meant was it nice. If you are in this neighborhood, I have one advice for you. Just one word. Run. <laughs> That's the advice so far I'm reading. Run. 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 See, if you are not innocent, I pray they catch you. But if you are innocent, run. Run. Like the tear. The tear. Run. Child. <laughs> if you don't run, but they will tell you. And meanwhile, let's move past that. Let's talk about uh, Sheikh Gumi, who is trending on Twitter because of the advice he gave to federal government. According to him, he said, Our military know fire for fire, and these people do not have the firepower. They hide behind the civilian and do whatever they do. So don't let us humiliate and disgrace our military. This is not their job. This is the job of politicians. This is the job of police. This is the job of intelligence. In fact, I believe no ransom should be paid. I believe that, but engage, engage these people, give them hope. But not only in these children cases, be holistic. Uh, be holistic. Be holistic. I heard when one military man said it is turning into war. I am so sad to see that they are now realizing that it is turning into war. It has been war since. It has been ethical war. It's been class war. It's not just more than criminality. We have to accept that. If, you, if we can see Israel and Hamas and change a prisoner, I don't see why we can't negotiate. If America can negotiate with Taliban, I don't see why we can't. They, foreign government, can impose on us their own idea. When behind the door, they are, they are also negotiating with them. So, uh, Shegumi is advising the federal government to negotiate with bandits and kidnappers.
<laughs> Let me know exactly how you feel, feel about that. Let me know your advice. <laughs> that, is, that is coming from Shegumi.